Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm with the lovely Kirby, who is one of my best friends. She also had like blogs, we actually started blogging together, yeah. kind of like around the same time. Um, but her channel, which she's just started as well, and her blog are quite different from mine. So it's really, really nice that we finally like collaborated. We've just filmed a video on her channel, so I'm going to link yeah. that below as well. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, Kirby, tell us a little bit, because my viewers know like maybe if they haven't seen you they know nothing yeah. about your blog itself. so tell us a little bit about what you do yeah so I have a fitness and health blog it's having a little bit of fashion in there but it's mainly fitness and health oriented uh -huh. called Tigress Lifestyle and I've also got a YouTube channel which Sean actually persuaded me to start yeah I'm so glad you did like it's actually guys if you like for everything from like home workouts to yeah it's uh, the channel yeah it's mainly workout based yeah. so if you're looking really to good workouts guys turn up get fit um lose some weight whatever you want mm -hmm. to do um there's probably something over there for you and I've got some really great three minute workouts yeah which are fab because everybody's really busy yeah I think as well it's good those videos that I love are just because. In the morning, like, everyone has three minutes to Yeah, spend. we all make excuses. So I think that, yeah, so definitely go check it out, guys. We just filmed a video for her channel about curly hair. So as I said, I'm going to link that below. <laughs> just wanted to do something really informal, just have, like, a chit-chat with you guys about health and beauty and how much it goes hand in hand. And if you do follow me on Snapchat, you know I am into, like, a healthy lifestyle as much as I can. We all have cheat days, but I do really love living a healthy lifestyle. Yeah. So I just wanted to kind to show you guys some things and maybe some tips or just have a chat and just say like at the end of the day when they say like beauty comes from within it's a lot more literal than what you actually yeah. think because you a lot of things you put in your body really affect you literally are what you eat basically. yeah like, yeah that sounds 100%. Really but it has such an impact yeah. on everything your mood mm -hmm. your energy what you look like some tips first of all like when I'm talking about beauty from within the biggest one it sounds too simple mm -hmm. to be like realistic but like literally water you should be drinking one of these pretty much every day like they say yeah. a minimum of a litre and if you're exercising you need to drink more yeah well. double that yeah and honestly this helps for firstly I think the skin I think I see it massively in my skin yeah uh, hydration in the skin your skin can dry out Definitely eyes, bags under your eyes. Oh my like, god, if I drinking water. Always struggle with bags under yeah. my eyes. It also helps, which if anybody is looking to lose weight, drink water just because a lot of the time you're actually dehydrated and you think that you're mm -hmm. hungry but you're not, you just need a drink. Yeah. Whereas if you're drinking lots of water, you don't get that as much. So it does help in terms of weight management. Yeah. Um, but it's just great. Yeah, and also <laughs> like anyone that like I don't know if you've noticed when you start drinking more water you do go to the toilet like non-stop and that does adjust a little bit but what's basically happening is you're flushing out all the toxins so I mean as I said we do all have a cheat day if I've had a drink or I've eaten anything bad like for me the next day I'm going to be pumping my body full of water just to kind of like recuperate yeah. and recover um and especially like at the moment we're in London and the weather is so humid like we're filming with this light now and I'm just like getting a little bit sticky um <laughs> but Honestly, you need to be hydrating yourself more than you usually would because you are sweating and losing yeah. it, and especially if you're in the gym. Um, so it sounds so simple, but we swear by it. Drink water, yeah. drink plenty of it, and you will see a difference. Mm -hmm. And while we're talking about flushing out your body, mm. I recently tried the Your Tea Tiny Tea Tea Talks, and I was really skeptical about trying it just because I'd seen it all over Instagram mm -hmm. and I thought it's one of these bad things. I haven't tried this by the way guys like I've, <laughs> I'm I'm going to try it because of Kirby like I've seen the difference and I actually had a few friends that have tried this as well so it is genuinely like one of those products that you're just like I really want to give it a go because it's got so many good reviews. Yes and it just I've got it here. So, have a look. so this is the box. Super cute. It is really cute and um the teas come in that little pink pouch. It's, bit, oh, it's really yeah. cute. Um, but anyway, it was actually really good. I was really sceptical about trying it. And I was like, I'm going to review it, but I'm going to give my honest review. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. If it does, it does. And 
it was really great, mm -hmm. especially for bloating. I struggle with bloating so much. I struggle with bloating. I think every <laughs> female does. Like, yeah, literally. It's just horrible. I've been offered a seat on the tube before. No. I was pregnant. <laughs> yeah, I just eat No, it. guys, seriously. No, 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 no. If you see the size of Kirby, that was rude. That is just rude. You're tiny. Like, no. But I do bloat really easily. <laughs> <laughs> I just eat, I think it's probably like Sunday dinner or something. Yeah. But anyway, um, it really helped just to, like, literally, after a few days, I noticed it. Mm -hmm. And after the full two weeks, literally no blood. I in. think um, I'd be quite interested to do that before a holiday as well. It is really good. Yeah. And especially, I don't drink tea, I don't really drink hot drinks just because I don't like mm -hmm. them. So I, I, I thought I was going to struggle with it a little bit, but if you are a tea drinker you can just replace your normal tea with it mm -hmm. kind of thing. yeah and it's just easy to like fit into your routine yeah but yeah I mean there's loads of um teas out there and I think in general um I'm a tea lover like I actually love so many different types of tea and I think when I am trying to be a lot healthier and like really cleanse I do stick to like my green teas and my peppermint teas um so as a natural supplement like I think the peppermint teas are great for de-bloating and digestion I just mm -hmm. it's really really good for that and a green tea is just really good again to help flush toxins mm -hmm. so if you are trying to be super healthy, like maybe just kind of replace that with your normal tea. Um, so that would be like another recommendation to use. Yeah. I was going to say like I'm a massive fan of smoothies. Mm -hmm. And I do, t I try it, especially when I'm being like really trying to get nutrition into my diet. I think it's a great way. And I don't just mean like the gorgeous tasting smoothies that you get in a restaurant that are like loads of fruit and maybe like some naughty things as well. Um, a lot of people even put ice creams in smoothies. I don't yeah. think you realise when you go to like restaurants, sometimes they put stuff like that. So it's more like a milkshake. Mm -hmm. I mean like loads of veg, like the stuff that you're not maybe getting a chance to have in your diet. For me, I try and include it in my smoothie and it's kind of my way of saying if I'm on the go, which we all are, I can kind of get that into my diet in the morning yeah. and I'm like kind of set up for the day. Um, so a lot of the stuff that I try and really like incorporate and I think helps with skin is like dark green vegetables leafy. and like leafy yeah. things and I put that in a smoothie and if you mix it in with your fruit it doesn't taste so bad because you've got yeah. the sugars of your fruit to kind of like make it taste nicer definitely and if you put spinach in spinach oh, is a good spinach one spinach is so good cram it in because it gets really small yeah <laughs> you can cram it in and spinach is really good for energy yeah. really Obviously good it's got loads of I, has it got iron? Yeah, yeah it's, it's packed iron. of iron. Um, so it's just good if you find yourself getting tired a lot or you've got a hectic day ahead, cram mm -hmm. your smoothie, your morning smoothie with spinach. It's just a little pick me up. A lot of um, females suffer from like they're slightly anemic or anything, yeah. especially at that time of the month or if you're pregnant. So um, spinach is a really good source of iron, so it's great for that. So anyone that suffers, I know loads of people that yeah, suffer with I that. Do. But also like, when you're lacking in iron, your skin becomes a lot paler, a lot more dull, and you just look a bit more withdrawn. So actually, by making sure you're full of iron and like you're kind of on top of that in your daily dietary requirements, like literally your skin just looks a lot more glowy and a lot more... Healthy. Yeah, it just looks healthier. Yeah. So I always... So spinach is a great one, but if you don't like spinach, like any dark green leafy vegetables mm. or anything like that... It, is usually packed full of iron, so that's a really good one for skin as well. And I think that's the most, like, outwardly thing that we notice with our diets, like our skin. It does take its toll yeah. when you're eating bad and stuff. So, yeah, just get some greens into those smoothies. <laughs> so, I got these at a fitness festival, actually, and they're called a beef superfood. Great. It's got a cute little bag with them in. There's all different ones, and you literally, I mean... You can put them in water and have them like that, but they're really good to put in smoothies because you can't taste them. And, yeah, they're just packed with these vitamins, kids. nutrients. There's different ones. Yeah, I'll show you. This one is so cool. So this one has, like, I can't, I can't say that. I can't. Oh, they're all called different things. So this is Be Fun and Focused. The Disco Mix, no? Yes, so uh, you've got the Disco Mix, the Detox Mix, and the Fit Mix. And so the Disco Mix is Be Fun and Furco. Mm -hmm. It has like um, six key functional botanicals. I'm going to say this wrong probably. This is Baobab. 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 
Baobab, so we're going to go with, with Maka, <laughs> Lakuma, Akai, Garana, Siberian, Ginseng, Ginseng. Listen, it's got a bunch of stuff <laughs> in it that's really good. No, I think what it is, is like a lot of people are like skeptical of like taking food supple supplements or like vitamins or things like that. But in an ideal world, if you had a perfect diet, you wouldn't, you know, you wouldn't yeah. supplement at all. But yeah. for when you're on the go, if you're anything like us and you're just like, you know what, I'm not getting enough nutrients that my body needs, then things like this, little supplements, I've got the superfoods one from Holland and Barrett's and you can get the, it's got like the eight veg in one jar and it's like powdered form. So, you know, at the end of the day, you're buying loads of fresh fruit and veg. Within a week, they are going to go off, maybe even less. Yeah. If you are running out of stuff, you know, if it's good to have like a powder supplement just so it's that you're not missing out. Easy, yeah. It just yeah. tops you up and they're really good. You can put these in yogurts as well, apparently. Yeah, like yeah. with these food supplements as well, like you can it doesn't have to be a smoothie. It's just we prefer to maybe not taste them so yeah. much. <laughs> but you can add on top of your cereals, in your yogurts, in water, just have it as a drink, like pre-gym, post-gym. Like there's loads yeah. of different ones you can get. So I would recommend trying some and finding ones that suit you. Yes. Yeah, I agree. Yes. So the next one we had that we're both in love with is coconut oil. Um, Kirby, you use it for everything. I use it for everything. I swear <laughs> by coconut oil. Can I just demonstrate how hot <laughs> the room is right now? <laughs> that it is, yeah, com it is completely it's liquid. liquid. Yeah. You know coconut oil usually is quite hard. Like, this is how hot we're like. <laughs> but yeah. Um, but I use it. For everything, yeah. So I use it as a you can use it for everything. You can. That's the thing. That's, like it's yeah. such a multi-purpose product. It is. It's natural. This one's an organic, raw pressed one. Yeah, raw organic cold pressed, mm -hmm. which just means it doesn't lose any of the nutrients. Yeah, so like the heat process. It's a cool process. But also, um, in Holland and Barracks, I buy a massive tub. It's usually yeah. fifteen pound, but pretty much every other time I go in there I see it on sale for seven pounds oh, really? like they do it every now and again and I don't I haven't worked out the pattern yet guys but I'm just putting <laughs> it out there that every so often it's half price so I just basically buy it every time it's on half price and then you get it for seven pounds it's like a massive tub yeah um so yeah that's and a little tip if you if you want to get hold of some for a slightly lesser price the thing is though it does sound expensive like 15 pounds for a tub it lasts well, I find that I use it all the time. It mm -hmm. lasts forever. Yeah. Like, mine lasts me months. I use it as a moisturiser every day, which, not on your face, actually, because... It's a bit too It's too face. oily. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it just... You're probably going to break out. But for your body, definitely. It's really good for prolonging your tan after holiday. Yes. It's, yeah, it actually yeah. is. Um, and also, I find that you can use it for cooking, so it's a great, healthy alternative for if you're, like, frying anything. Yeah, definitely. Um, I use yeah. it... Yeah, so... Yeah. You just well if you watch our hair video you'll find out how heavy <laughs> is it in her hair as well um and oil pulling for your teeth it is a massive like natural way to like really whiten and clean your teeth and i think it's so good that there is a product out there that can do that yeah. without damaging your teeth and actually it can help prevent gum disease as well because it draws out a lot of yeah it draws out a lot of like the impurities. bacteria and impurities yeah. in your gums and stuff that you can't see yeah. so yeah definitely go, there's so many different there ways is. to use it another little one as well just while we're in the summer season um mm. it's really good to make your um body scrub with if you literally mm. take a scoop of it mix it with himalayan salt like the same amount of himalayan salt, himalayan salt. <laughs> pink salt yeah. <laughs> um, and literally just when you're in the shower rub it all over your body in like circular motions and it's fab mm -hmm. like, seriously and it moisturises you as well because of the coconut oil yeah really good. and also if you want like a different alternative you can use and um, like for a finer scrub you can actually use a sugar scrub mm -hmm. and um, it's a lot finer but it just depends because some people have really sensitive skin and obviously even though it is sugar it's not actually getting soaked into your skin it's just scrubbing off all that kind of like dead skin and stuff yeah. um, and it's always great again if you want glowing skin in the summer to exfoliate before you're going to tan or anything because yeah. then when you, you're on holiday like your skin is just in the perfect like condition to get a really even coverage tan yeah and which we love the last getting thing. a tan yeah <laughs> so for gym goers or anybody wanting to go to the gym, thinking about going to the gym, 
nice active wear nice gym clothes is really not important but it's really good just to motivate you to go no but you know what it is important Kirby yeah. because <laughs> I work out harder when I think I look the part yeah no it's like, all the gear with no idea like that is me like I go in there and I look like a pink power ranger but I feel powerful I'm like I'm gonna you're good in the gym no I literally went in the gym the other day and I had like these new leggings on and I just felt like do you know what? I'm gonna up my weights today. And I was like doing the leg extension. I put it, I put it on, and then um, these guys were watching me, and I was thinking, well, I can't not do it now because I've just put it on and they're watching me. So I did it. I struggled, but I did it, and I was just like, yes, that was like the power of the new leggings. And then the guy got on and he was like, Oh yeah, mate, she's doing more than us. <laughs> and I was just like, see, that is the power of that new gym. Yeah. The power of pink. <laughs> so yeah, I think I think it's really important. Yeah, that you, just, it you is. feel good. Yeah, and mm. definitely Forever Twenty One are really good. It has so I love this. The stuff. prices are amazing. But Budget just, price. In fact, I've actually got a really cute. Yeah, show them. Oh, that's so cute. It's so cute, right? And this was like eleven pounds, and it's just so sweet. Look at that little crisscross as well. Love it. Really nice. I've got loads from Forever 21 and I love that um, you can literally go in every month and they will have like new styles yeah. and new colours. I think the brighter the better to be honest and um, yeah so I love their stuff. I do love like gym gear and I do think that if you're going to go through it or you like to update it, stick with the budget wear because yeah, yeah because you're going to get a new piece like to in a couple honest, months time. Yeah because your gym wear, when you wash it, it's not made to be washed really, like mm -hmm. obviously you've got to wash it but it does kind of go a bit bubbly and oh like, yeah yeah like it doesn't like let's be honest especially because yeah. the stuff the activities you're doing them it doesn't last forever so you don't want to I'll be honest with you I've bought the highest end stuff Victoria's Secrets pink range um night I mean that's not the highest end but I mean that's quite it's expensive, kind of expensive for sportswear yeah. and it lasts just as long as the same stuff I still yeah. buy it I still love it for the fashion but I'm not going to sit here and say that it lasts longer because it doesn't so if you're just sticking and you just want to like something that's fashionable and fierce and you look good in the gym I think Forever 21 is the one yeah it's mm -hmm. great and while we're talking about gym girls I mean, and I know I do makeup tutorials. I love my makeup. But when you go to the gym, if you see me on Snapchat, you do not wear makeup to the gym. Like, it is going to destroy your skin. Like, literally, as you sweat, obviously, all your pores open up. Anything that's sitting on your face is going to go into that. And that is how you get really clogged pores and really bad blackheads and stuff. Yeah. And I know it's a confidence thing with some girls. So I know you find it really hard, some, some girls, to go to the gym without makeup. But honestly, once you start doing it, it's quite, like, a refreshing thing to say I'm gonna yeah. go out and like not have my makeup done and, and feel really good about myself because I've had a workout and I feel empowered that I've just done that yeah and it, I think I, I, I just think if you really feel insecure maybe put a bit of concealer on yeah bit of concealer around the eyes or anything that's not I'm talking about like don't wear foundation yeah it's skin makeup really I mean if you need like wear your mascara yeah or, but put your eyebrows on like if you're one of them people <laughs> that has no eyebrows like I get it but that's not really going to affect you it's more like I'm talking about like blusher bronzer or it just because your pores are open like, when you're so when you're exercising you get hot your pores mm. are open you don't want makeup going in there clogging it up you're it great. feels uncomfortable yeah. I don't know how people do it I mean I go gym box you also go gym box yeah um it's quite a popular gym like I was in there the other day and a girl had a smoky eye like a smoky eye to oh the gym. God. And I know that's eye makeup, but you can imagine the face that went with it. Yeah, and I was just like, like... I don't know. <laughs> I don't think she... I don't think that was her purpose yeah, of going to the gym. Yeah. But the point is, is that this video is about health and beauty. And we want to be real with you. Like, we don't go to the gym and look... Our gym wear looks amazing. But, you know, we roll out of bed. So I just think you just need to go and... and it is going to make your skin worse if you're constantly working out, yeah. properly working out, like sweating, not like Miss Smoky Eye. Um, <laughs> but like you know, you've got to you've got to just kind of get up the confidence to just go. I'm not going to go with makeup and you're in there to work out. Time. You know, yeah, exactly, and yeah. it should be better in the long run. Yeah. So I think that sums up our beauty tips, tricks, and health advice. I don't really yeah. know what I'm going to call this video, but I think it's just nice to just have a video with you on the channel and yes, also just talk about some stuff because I don't I don't feel like I do enough chatty videos where we can just talk about stuff that we like to get up to yeah. and, and just give you guys some tips so I hope you liked it yeah if there is is anything you do want to know um 
just drop a comment below. Yeah, and... just drop, yeah. Or, like, head over to Kirby's channel. As I said, she's got some great fitness, health, and, and guys, I spoke about drinking, and she's done a video <laughs> with healthy cocktails. Like, seriously. Yeah, healthy cocktails, one of your five a day, in a cocktail with alcohol. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> we're calling it healthy cocktails is what we're doing. Thanks for watching, guys, and... If you liked it, give it a thumbs up because maybe me and Kirby will do some more together. Um, as I said, check out the video we filmed on her channel. And thank you, Kirby, yeah, thank you. for your little <laughs> debut on the channel. <laughs> and um, we'll see you next time, guys. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Go on, blow me a kiss. He's <laughs> 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 <was> like, choke. <laughs> Get some water. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> I feel like I need to coffee now. <laughs> <laughs> Are you just coffeeing me? <laughs> no, do you know when like, you become conscious of it? When yeah, you? like just get all your coughs out. Like. <laughs> and they come in really cute. Oh. Okay. Oh, it's his iPad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How long is it going to run for? Because I only have a certain amount of dance it's moves. Going to answer his phone. So hot in here. I wish the wind on that. Okay, we go, it stopped. <sighs>